Budget smartphone brand Ten or recently launched its new smartphone Ten R D2 in India. The budget-friendly smartphone manufactured as a part of the Crafted for Amazon program, and it comes in two variants: 2 GB RAM plus 16 GB ROM and 3 GB RAM and 32 GB ROM. And it is priced at six triple nine and seven triple nine rupees in India. So let's find out: Is it worth the money? Hey guys, it's Neeraj from Tech Unbox and welcome to the review of 10R D2. The T2 comes packed in a box which contains accessories such as 5W 1A charger, a USB cable, user manual and SIM tray ejector. The box didn't come with a screen guard and the users may have to buy one separately in order to avoid scratches on their display. Coming to the design and the form factor, so the D2 comes in a plastic body with a metallic finish at the back which gives a premium look. The device is extremely comfortable to hold and is barely slippery even with a smooth finish at the back. The phone houses an LED flash, earpiece, selfie camera and a light sensor. At the bottom of the device, it has a USB charging port along with a microphone. The lock unlock button and the volume rocker are placed at the right side. On its left, the phone houses a SIM card tray which can hold two SIM cards along with a dedicated slot for the micro SD card. At the rear of the phone houses the primary camera along with a LED light panel and a speaker grill at the bottom. At 144 grams, D2 feels light. It comes with a 5.45 inch display and a large 3200 mAh battery. The biggest letdown with this device is its lack of the fingerprint sensor, which is a common feature with most of the phones in this budget. Coming to the display, so it comes with a 5.45 inch HD plus screen with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio and a display resolution of 720 by 1440p. The screen is bright enough and produces color fairly well when watching HD quality movies. The display can be off-putting at times, but given the price point at which the D2 comes, there should not be any complaints. 10R D2 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon Quad Core 425 processor, which is clocked at 1.4 GHz. The quad-core processor performed most operations smoothly and showed no sign of the lagging. Even after opening multiple apps such as an internet browser, WhatsApp, email app, and few games running simultaneously, the phone can process everyday tasks with ease. However, the processor shows sign of lagging when playing heavy games such as PUBG, Asphalt 8, and Sniper 3D. The device stayed calm during most times and showed no sign of the heating. The biggest plus point of this phone is that it comes with Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box, which is a big boost at this price point. The phone's call quality was quite decent with clear network reception even at cramped places such as lift or basements. D2 comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera with an LED flash along with a 5 megapixel front facing camera. The camera offers options such as HDR mode, Beautify Me, Selfie Countdown and Face Recognition features and is able to record full HD resolution videos at 30 frames per second. Pictures clicked by the primary camera were fairly satisfactory in well lit conditions. In dimly light conditions, the camera captured stunning amount of light where the images came out crystal clear. Selfies were pretty clear and crisp with an 5 megapixel front camera. Just like the rear camera the front camera performed better in low lit conditions compared to the bright conditions 10R D2 leaps the competition far behind with its massive 3200 mAh battery the phone lasts more than a day with moderate usage such as light browsing on wifi moderate messaging and some amount of gaming however the device lost large amount of the charge when exposed to the prolonged gaming sessions with games such as pubg on idle condition the device could sustain its charge for about 1 and 1/2 days when connected to the network and wifi The phone lacks fast charging capabilities and took approximately 3 hours to fully charge the battery from 0 to 100%. The biggest talking point of the D2 has got to be its performance along with the best in class battery. The device performed fairly well when it comes to the camera quality. A mediocre display and a missing fingerprint scanner shouldn't be the deterrent to buy this value for the money smartphone. Okay guys, that's all for this video. If you like it then leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in my next video.